Hello again, a new day, a new improvement for Akasom, hopefully. That signal noise ratio is worst with an Akasom amplifier, even if you have a nice air SSI, you know, the amplification is bringing up more weaknesses. But it's very possible to have a issue here. I was just checking the inside. I've been checking the schematic a little bit and what I found. So let's start with this photo. That's inside the Akason. And we got here a back converter, a step down converter. And this one, you see, it's taking 12 volts from the input to pin number two and it passes a uh, five volts at the output on pin number three you know through all these coils and uh, capacitors and so on the point is the step down converter the back converter is a oscillator this particular uh, circuit it's working with let me see it's ap2960 and it's working around 350 kilohertz you'll say 350 kilohertz and we are talking about a 68 megahertz but you know people here are a lot of harmonics and here are a lot of uh, how can i say radio interferences so uh, doesn't really stuck around this frequency it can reach up high very easily so after my opinion having a back converter inside of a low noise amplifier it's a big mistake i know they are cheap they are very efficient it can reach 95 98 percent efficiency if you run this on battery it's great but in the same time it can interfere with the radio path you know so i was just thinking because everything else here it's working with five volts so uh, finally the the voltage we'll have here it's only five volts and by the way you can get rid of this and supply five volts here directly from another power supply from batteries and i'm pretty sure it's working with 3.7 or something from a lithium ion battery for being much more quieter so what i was thinking about i'm just taking this circuit out and i'm replacing it with a classic LM7868 this guy so these circuits have a lot of history about uh, being quiet because this is an analog you know very classic uh, regulator fixed voltage regulator and uh, okay that's the, the schematic inside the chip so uh, 78 uh, 7805 it's a very common fixed voltage integrated circuit voltage regulator and it's absolutely quiet of course i didn't find any texas instruments not anymore but i have this instead so uh, it's more than enough to power this little amplifier this is just an idea and of course there is a lot of talking about uh, step down converter or back converter and uh, analog the classic way and a lot of things on the internet one of the problem is the low efficiency of uh, 7808 the analog one let's say but it's in our case in our case doesn't really matter it's a matter of a few watts per month also i may say that the classic 7808 it's much more compact because you don't need anything you know just apply the voltage and you have uh, the output so you don't need any coil you don't need any extra capacitor and stuffs this article said you'll see there is a small noise a voltage notch present in the back converter output it said that could be even higher noise in the back converter it may cause issues with some sensitive microcontroller application and i say 
not only microcontrollers but also RF applications like in our case a very sensible low noise amplifier and you know matters and also in this case linear regulator seems to be slightly better I hope so <laughs> So let's try this mode and we'll talk about this later. Now I'm waiting for a bunch of this kind of amplifiers. So as soon as I have them, I'm going to put them together, you know, working for a couple of weeks or something. And then I have a very clear idea if the mood I did, it's good or not. And by the way, let's take a look inside and to see how uh, everything fits. Of course. That's how uh, the mood it's looking like. Here I have the new circuit. The AP2908 is gone. 12 volts to input and 5 volts to the output. And let's have some measurements. By the way, k weights KM601 really nice multimeter a lot of function and uh, very reliable now it's on auto and we have 12 volts here eleven point eighty four and the and the output five point zero six volts so this is perfect to fit and to feed the amplifier. By the way, this can be powered with voltages from let's say minimum 5 volts, maximum maximum 20 let's say. But 12 volts it will be a perfect uh, voltage for it. The next step will be in the next episode and I'm going to show you how to fit a bias D coil and to make the output proper for being a bias T supplied, power supplied. Okay, so that's it for today, people. I hope it's useful. If you have the skills, try to have this mood or even disconnect uh, the original power supply and apply. Let me show you. You can apply a 5 volts here directly and hopefully will make this amplifier quieter. See you in the next episode about the bias the uh, Akasom amplifier and uh, of course like, subscribe and don't forget have fun. Bye bye.